Hey fellow reader, fellow gamers, I am back with episode 7 of my playthrough of Everlasting Summer. Uh, as you may recall from the last episode, we did a little tour of the camp, ran into a number of other characters, and got involved in a few things, and now we are about to bet on a card game. If we win, we get nothing out of it. If we lose, we become the resident pervert in the camp. Yeah, so our Sundari girl is about to say that we tried to seduce her, but if we beat her in the game, then no, she won't. So let's see what happens. Then again, can I even trust her? She can do it even if I win. So, have you made a decision? I was going to answer, but suddenly Lena came around me from behind. What? Uh, nothing. Lena hurried inside. So... Should I bet with Elisa or not? Let's bet. Let's bet her. Why not? I may regret it a hundred times. Fine, I'll do it. She smiled. But if I win, yeah, yeah, all fair, no cheating. Elisa turned, went up the stairs and inside the canteen. Why am I doing this? Because she can set me up regardless if she wants to? Since she decided to anyway, I let out a heavy sigh and followed her through the door. Inside, everything was ready. A few pioneers stood here and there chatting. The tables were moved out of the way to make room for players and spectators. I looked around. Something was going on in the far corner. When I came closer, I saw a large piece of paper with a diagram drawn on it. My name was among the players. Oh, I see, okay. I love, I love it. I'm just like a black outline with a friggin' smiley face. That's funny. And who came up with all this? I patted Electronic who was standing near. Well, of course it was your most humble servant. He bowed to me jokingly. This made me uncomfortable to the point of squirming. And why in the world am I among the players then? I was disappointed. A few seconds ago I thought I still had a slim chance to evade this the tournament. Then I wouldn't have to fear Elisa's revenge for losing the bet with her. But now that hope was gone. It was pure coincidence. Yeah, right, coincidence, except that I was already acquainted with every one of the contestants. Well, there were a few dozen other pioneers standing in the room. I was seized by anxiety. It's the feeling of being watched while standing in an empty room with no windows and doors. Will there be a prize? I asked him lazily. I wanted to distract myself with a pointless conversation. Electronic was just about to answer when Oleana came out of nowhere and started jumping around him. Prizes! Prizes! I heard something about prizes! Semyon, do you know what is the main ethos of the Olympic Games? Apparently the ethos is it's not the winning but the taking part that counts. A what? No. You all understand when you grow up. She made a wry face and jabbed Electronic in the ribs. So what about the prize? Well, uh, I don't know. It's not up to me. He made a helpless gesture. Really, if they came up with this stupid game, at least they could give the winner a chocolate medal or something. Oleana well, suddenly jumped and raced off to somewhere. I wish I was that optimistic. So, what about the rules? Wait a bit. Not everyone is here yet. I looked around the canteen. Elisa, Slavia, Lena, Miku, and Shurik were here. It seems like everyone is here. Not everyone. Zenya isn't here. Does he feel uneasy? Or is it just me? She's not here, so what? Pick someone else instead. N no, I, I can't do that, he answered slowly. I decided not to ask exactly why he can't do this. Well, go fetch her or something. I don't know. He can't go. He's the host of the event. The camp leader appeared as if from nowhere. Uh, but Olga Dmitrievna, Electronic whined. Semyon will go. Right, Semyon? She looked at me and smiled. <sighs> of course. Who else? Where is she? In the library, I guess. Okay. I dragged my feet towards the door. Please hurry. What's Electronic's problem anyway? Night is coming soon. I was going to take my time, so I slowly paced towards the library. But I found Zenya before I even expected. 
She was sitting on a bench at the square, staring at Genda, who was silent as always. What are you doing here? Everyone is looking for you. Sitting here, as you can see, she frowned. Well, let's go. I don't want to, she looked away. Why not? I don't want to. I sat beside her. Listen, I don't like the idea of this contest myself, but we can't let everyone down. I surely didn't sound like myself there. A couple of days ago, I wouldn't even think of saying something like that. Zenya looked at me with surprise on her face. So, everyone is waiting for me? Isn't that exactly what I said? Yes. I, I won't go anyway. She frowned and hid her face. But why? I gestured with my arms, wondering. I don't know how to play cards. So what? Same problem here. Then how can you play? What? You can only do things that you read about in books or something? Well, of course. She was surprised. And what if you end up in Antarctica and have to rely on hunting polar bears to survive? Polar bears don't live in Antarctica, Zenya smiled. Doesn't matter, it's just an example. Come on, it's not like someone's life depends on the result. She took her time to think. I just don't want to let anyone down. Right, I agreed sarcastically. And don't you think anything funny about that? I didn't get what she meant, but anyway. Obviously, everyone has their weak spots. In a minute, we both were back at the canteen. Everyone looked at Electronic. So, he cleared his throat. <coughs> Each round consists of one game. In case of a draw, you replay the game. After this, the loser drops out and the next round begins. Since the number of volunteers, he looked at me, since the number of players is just eight, we'll have only three rounds. Is everything clear? The crowd cheered. And what are the prizes? The prizes, what are they? Ulyana, cut it out. Slavia stepped forward and tried to catch Ulyana. I won't rest until the prize is mine. Seemed like this girl alone had enough energy for a warp jump to Alpha Centauri. Prizes! Prizes! She repeated it over and over. Stop it! Slavia tried to reason with her. Electronics seemed to be getting dizzy from all this running around. Let's just start already. I said calmly and added to Eliana, or you won't get any prizes. Looks like my argument got through to her, so she took her place. Slavia followed her, giving me a grateful smile as she passed. The pioneers finally settled down. I approached the table that Lena sat behind. You don't mind? She looked up and blushed. Don't worry, I, I don't know the rules myself. And how can I be sure that's not only myself? I sat down. Turns out we'll have to play the first round together. Yes. Finally, Electronics started to explain the rules. Look at the cards carefully. There are exactly six of them in front of you. I hope everyone here knows how to count. <laughs> now you can look at them. After everyone had a look at their cards, Electronic moved on. What the... The rules here are similar to poker. I hope everyone knows how to play. I knew the rules, but wasn't so sure about the others. First of all, it's a top card, then one pair, then two pairs, then three of a kind, and so on. No flushes or straights, though. In first round, you choose a card which you would like to take from your opponent. In turn, your opponent can choose to swap two of his cards around twice, or he can choose not to do so, if he doesn't need the card which you are taking. Take a note here that your opponent can see which cards are trading places. In the next step, your opponent takes a card he cho chooses, and so on. I think it's pretty clear. It wasn't too clear to me. It's not too clear to me either. I hope I don't actually have to play. Hey you, Einstein! Oleana loud yelled at him from her table. I didn't get a thing. You'll figure it out as we go. Electronic went to the table with the diagram, leaving Oleana to smolder in solitude. You go first. I hoped I could get my mind around the game fast enough. Lena, more perplexed than usual, reached out for my cards. 
In the middle of the table, her hand stopped. Will you... Oh yeah, I should be protecting my card. What was it Electronic said? To try to confuse my opponent, I can swap two of my cards. Twice. Or I can choose not to. Should I protect it or not? By the way, I can also agree and give her the card she chose straight away. Otherwise, Lena can change her mind and take another card if she wants to. Or she might not. Oh, man. This is like... Game phase defense. Okay, so I've got two sixes. Things were becoming clear. Okay, well, they're not exactly clear, or at least comprehensible. Now it's my turn. I can take back my card from her, or I can choose another one. Lena can try and protect her card. But if I watch her closely, I can take the card I choose regardless of her movements. I made it. Electronic, who was silently watching our game, nodded in approval. Looks like now we're getting somewhere. Now, during the round, opponents trade cards three times. Keep an eye on each other. Penetrate your opponent with your eyes. I chuckled. <laughs> Penetrate. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, never mind. <laughs> he said penetrate. I tried to keep a straight face. He stared at me for a moment, then moved on. And then we turned the cards up to see whose hand is better. Electronic went back to his diagram. So what, I have new cards again? The fuck? She's gonna take my nine. Do I really care? They're all different. Whatever, take it. Oh, I got two kings. Damn it. Give me my king back. Hey, I won! Nice. Seriously, it's hard to play a game that was made up on the spot and not by yourself either. But I won! Although the moment of glory was tainted by the fact that it was Lena who was the loser. She's not very confident in general, but now she's lost. I I'm too embarrassed to even look at her now. Probably I should have lost to boost her self-esteem. But I have a bet with Elisa. Meanwhile, Electronic proudly announced that the first round is over. A list of those who made it into the second round appeared on the scheme after a little while. Oh great, I get to play Leanna now. Semi-final pairs consisted of Elisa versus Xenia and Oliana versus me. A doomed sigh escaped me. Oliana immediately took a seat in front of me. Ha! She glared at me, grinning. How did you manage to outplay Lena? Cheated, perhaps? I'm not you. I just know how to play cards. At least, 
that's what I want her to believe. And how could you outplay Shurik? Uh... Eliana waved her hand, showing how easy it was. I threatened to join his club. She grinned yet again. Would you hold back too? Not a chance. Ugh. Then I'll choose which card I give to you myself. Did you hear the rules? Aw, screw them. It looked like she really didn't care. Okay, but I choose the cards to give to you too. Deal. Inspired by my victory in the first round, I ventured upon this dangerous move. I could have argued, appealed to Electronic and eventually had my own way, but somehow I felt truly confident in the outcome of this round. Yes, we were breaking the rules, but I was in the same boat as Oliana. I looked up at Electronic. It's time to begin the semi-finals, he commanded. I carefully checked my cards, ensuring that Oliana couldn't see them. Okay, so I have a Joker, a 5, a 4, an 8, an Ace, and a 5. So... Okay, I have two fours. Huh, gave away a five, got a five. Hey, I won! Hey, this isn't fair. You should have held back and lost. She angrily puffed up her cheeks, making her resemble Humpty Dumpty. Let's have a rematch, but this time you have to hold back, got it? It wasn't only me who heard her, but the entire room, even electronic. No rematches allowed. Uliana completely ignored him. You have to lose. I don't have the slightest intention of playing with you for a second time, I said calmly. Fine, you want it that way? Yes, that way. Then I'll put the word out that you've sexually harassed Elisa, she whispered. What? I leaned over the table and gave her a menacing glare. So, you've been eavesdropping? I just heard it while passing by. Anyway, it's much better to play an extra round than... Ugh, oh, she can certainly do that. I sighed and appealed to Electronic. Not a problem, we'll have a quick rematch. Uh, whatever. He shrugged. So, the rematch has started. Should I hold back? Should I try to win? What should I do here? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, well, I'll give her that. Wow, I, I have like, well, I don't, oh. Like, did they intentionally give me, like, a really good hand? I don't know. <laughs> Easy peasy, I said and reclined on my seat. That's not fair. I hope she won't demand another rematch. How come, I chuckled. Okay, said Oleana aggrievedly and got up from the table. I studied the tournament scheme closely, trying to understand who's going to be my final rival. At the same moment, Elisa took her place at my table. I pulled a dumb, feigned smile, like I'm afraid of her. Congratulations. Expecting to win? I'm expecting that you'll keep your promise. Okay, let's roll. And that's it. We're going to see how this turns out in the next video. Uh, and see whether I become accused of sexual harassment or I prove myself to be a de decent card player. So that's it for the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to watch all my future videos, subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, bye bye for now.